Ah, good day, guys. As you all know me, as a mentor, Nasdaq Ninja. So, guys, if I can continue, can you please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified once I upload? You know, guys, uh, on 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 this day, right? Like on on Friday, I did want to update you guys with uh Euro USD, you know, but I failed, you know, because. Uh, I went live and I said I'm gonna make another video, but uh, my content wasn't agreeing with me because you know I already like uploaded another video. You get the point. But what I like about it, guys, is it moved like as predicted. Understand? So if you can check, you know, most of the people think I don't trade currencies. I do, guys. I do trade currencies. When we analyzed this, it was somewhere here, and I realized that this was still gonna give us uh buying opportunities. You know, if you were to be on my live, you did see me updating this movement. So as you can see, like this was like a simple setup, you know, like I always say, when it comes to pure price section, right? And using my strategy, it's very easy for you to kill currencies because they become super easy. You get the point. It, it, it just depends on who you're trading with. You understand? So for me here, I was going to be uh, not adding trade because I believe that it, it has to come back here and retest neither here. So you can leave it. And then once it comes back and retest, you add your trade, you're still going to be moving. You know, we have to complete this 90% rule there. So it could be you eating like, guys, this was an incredible trade. And I wish if I were to update it, but I did enter it, you know, I did enter it and I made some few uh, cash, you understand? So at the end of the day, guys, let's reanalyze and let me show you on how I actually got this direction of Euro USD, you know. And one thing that I went selfish on is as much as I saw Euro USD with the long term buying opportunities, I was supposed to actually know that gold is going to be buying USDT, it's even though like they take little bit of same direction but you know the conversion of them they do take uh, the same direction but at the end of the day uh based on nfp they take like one of the most same direction immediately you get the point so that's how it was you know but you know like i told you it will depend on where the market is in order for you to determine nfp you know and when i checked euro usd was buying like heck that day so that's what it is guys uh Currently, I want to actually expose myself to currencies. You know, those who are trading currencies, I guess they should be happy because you're going to start seeing more of currencies here. So one thing that I was doing there, it was that you were learning the hard way. Now it's going to be that thing of you, like, not learning the hard way, but getting it, you understand? So because that was indices, you're going to see what's going to happen with currencies. Different indices, we can analyze today, they respect today. Currencies, they can respect in three days, four days. But at the end of the day, the analysis will be correct and you'll be safe. In, in indices, you can blow like 15 accounts, but in currencies, you can't blow like two accounts. You know, you can't blow at the end of When people say they don't blow on currencies, believe them, you know, because here, like, you're just going one run the whole we you get the point so you're not gonna blow here take the same concept to currencies you see what's gonna happen you know this is what we actually trade some of them we do trade currencies yeah it's something that we do daily you know some i'm still holding other trades moving around euro usd you know currencies you just hold relax make sure that this becomes your first take profit this one becomes your uh, this one profit profit then that's you making all the hold back. You get the point. So at the end of the day, guys, I don't like wasting your time, as you always know. Let's start from the weekly time frame and see what is it. Am I am I really wasting your time? Like, tell me, guys, am I really wasting your time? So I always take it to the monthly, or we can take it to two months. You understand? So we can take it as far as possible, you know, just to see the whole chart, you know. So one thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to create my highest point and create my current lowest point. Like, this is easy, guys. I just have to relax and show you guys. And then I'm going to create places where the market touches, the market reverses. <laughs> ah, guys, this is so incredible, guys. This is so incredible. So, guys, on Saturday, what I do sometimes is I'm so exposed to uh, drop shipping in a way that I nearly, like, stopped trading two years back for drop shipping understand so when i started making it in trading i was like i don't start things and i don't finish you know so i was like let's bring in drop shipping as well let me show you how much i made like yesterday you know this like there's like a super trade if you want to learn more about it guys just check on the telegram of drop shipping i'm gonna update it just now you understand i'm gonna update everything so you all can see that your boy it's everywhere, you know, it's making money. People like saying, why do you like being everywhere? Man, this, this we call it streams of income. You can never like 
depend on the one thing you know I'm not saying it will end or something but it's very important for you to actually like diversify understand be everywhere you understand so this is what i actually mean you know and the nicest thing is you can see i got visited by 839 uh people and then they only like purchased nine people you know that's bad for business something that i gotta fix but 9k was me you you get the point so this is just drop shipping guys uh, it's nothing major you know it's nothing like that you don't know you can search on uh, youtube they can tell you more about it but you know based on myself i have experience you know i do trading killing the market and i also do drop shipping you see there are three live visitors now i wish one can just throw in 1k and let's see what's gonna happen but at the end of the day guys i'm gonna drop in the handle of this uh dropshipping account which called lunar dropshipper and then i'll drop in the telegram so you can get updated with everything you understand on telegram you're gonna get updated for free you know i don't know when i'm gonna start doing uh dropshipping videos but i think i'm gonna create like a new channel for it here we only deal with the market we don't want no confusion you understand so dropshipping will create a new youtube channel for them and it's that and yo bro like it's gonna be like a lot of work but i you know me I, i'm not lazy guys i'm not lazy i'm not lazy you understand so i'm gonna work myself off so here again you're gonna create places where the market touches the market reverse it's very important guys check everywhere i go i just create the same thing this is actually a strategy and then the other thing that i once learned about the market based on uh zones is this zone was respected in 2015, right? Uh, we, we're touching it in 2023. What do you think this zone will do? Buy. So if you 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 are trading with the best, knowing my strategy very well, you could be like far now. You understand? You could be far. So here we we we, we claim by yeses of the market touching the same position. When did this touch the same position? You understand? So we understand that there there's higher chances of it respecting that certain position. Passing here, it will be, oh, it's going to take the market forever. Don't even think the market will actually pass there. You get the point? So here, we're creating our highest point, and then we're creating uh, another high, lowest point here. You see? This is how it is. So the trend line here basically judges us to say we have a first touch, second touch. We don't need a third touch. So we, we basically need a third touch as always impossible. But you know, man, we once touched the 2002. What you can bring here it could be like a market crash. So you want to bring that to, to, to go to the lowest, lowest point. So we can go here today or next week. Now nah, we, we're going to take time. Like some other direction seems like, yo, like it will take forever. You know, so if we break here, then that's when we know very well we come in here but like i said you can see how long it took for it to come here so for it to go there it will take such years and it's in my rich year 28 like that's currencies man yes it can take only two years or one year to reach a certain point but when it comes to euro usd it can take forever you get the point so that's the main thing you know so on currencies we aim for certain like current highest point like here you know i'm on three months you know that's that's the thing that you gotta get so let's push to the daily time frame and see what is it that we see on a daily time frame beautiful the beauty of it like this so beautiful highest point lowest point that's what you they're gonna, they're gonna tell you to create right you created it but as it's not our highest it's our current highest point you get the point because you already have the highest point so basically, when you analyze like that, you become a genius of knowing that if you break that, where are you actually going in overall? You get the point. Guys, if I always say, if you can check where I come from, you will you will be surprised that this thing. Someone said that's a switch off magnet, whatever. I'll switch out of it. I don't I don't know nothing about trading. I don't know who touched my 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 my, my trading view and then switched on his things to get the point. So oh there is it here oh, oh okay 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 actually speaking guys i don't know much about it i just enter here and analyze and make my that's all yo about the buy it's buying like two yo guys this euro usd i wish if i were to send you it we could be making money now like forever the problem is if we send you this you guys are gonna mix it with USD. i don't like mixing currencies and usd yo i don't do that because i i it's not going to work out correct. You understand? So now you can see that I brought out like zones. Daily can have zones as well, right? So I just brought out like new zones. 
uh, you know, I don't know how can I, I reduce this. I don't like it as big as this. And I see other mentors doing it like as big as this, but that's not my thing. You know, you all know that I have to reduce it. Yeah, to this point. And then to this point. It's nice like this. Super nice like this. So at this point, we have like a sort of like a resistant here. If the market breaks here, we take in buying opportunities as well. But if it fails to break, probably it might want to come here and I said it should come here, right? Maybe it could come back there, but it depends by the market, you know. There's a daily time frame. You can as well create something like this. So if it breaks here, then we know that we're pushing to this point. So every time we break a zone, you are going to another zone. Doesn't matter how long we waited a certain position. That's the same thing that you gotta understand. You understand? So here we have a zone. Trend lines can be zones. Trend lines can be zones. You know, you just have to be a good listener and understand this thing. This is this is not like a difficult thing. And like I see older people understanding this, you know. You see how 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 older people have seen life. Like they've seen like a lot of things in life, but they still give their time and understand the market. You know, some bring their kids so that their kids can they think they'll understand. And they find that he understands more than the kid. You get the point. So this is how it is. This is how it is, guys. So as you can see, guys, uh, most of the people here can actually like try to bring it down. But I'll tell you that the market has to create a pattern here. Let the market create something, you know. Yes, taking sales is a risk here. It's also valid, man. Risking is part of this game. We know, we all know that. But what you have to do, you let the market decide if it, it's going to break this position or not. Because at the end of the day, entering at this certain position, it failed at first. It could fail again. So wait for it to break with a higher momentum than you enter. And NFP already decided the direction. So we should like buying can be like too, 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 too valid. You understand? When we're trading currencies, we don't go to five minutes time frame. So we end here. H1, we end. We see what's going on on H1, then we done. That, that is the most thing that you got to understand because you guys like the smaller time frame thinking like an, a small account has to use the smaller time frame. It does not affect. Nobody said if you have a, a $2 account, you need to use two minutes uh, time frame. No, that's a lie. You, you don't want to use it like that. So you see here it broke, right? This could be like an impulse and corrections here. So it's very important for you to figure this out. But for me, I'll I'll just advise you to wait for it to break this position there. Once it breaks there, then that's when you know that you are you 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 are on a buying opportunity. You get the point. So let's let's reduce the chart and see what is it that is it. yeah here. That's where it will decide. You understand? On however it will break, that's when you decide to enter your trade. But this trend line can play a bigger role. You saw where it coming from. So it's a, it's a bigger thing. It's a bigger thing you can maintain to respect. There's a zone here that was respected in 2023 September, which probably, let's check how, when was it respected again in 2023 March, uh, 2022 uh, December. We are on the same zone now. So that's something that you got to understand that in order for us to, to not respect it, we got to break it. But now we are at the top of it. You know, you can see strictly straight on it. So selling opportunities here can be valid. So in many cases, remember the market is just a determination. If it breaks here, we're going there. You understand? So, but at the end of the day, obviously you want me to confirm the direction of it. So all I can tell you is uh, we can wait for it to do a to, to actually like uh, maybe wait for like four hours at a certain place, then we take our selling opportunities or anything to do if let's say you go to 30 minutes time frame, we just check what is it that we see. You know, I still feel like you know, this certain point, the buys are like too strong, right? But this candlestick is the one that is going to decide for me if I'm going to take buying opportunities or selling opportunities. If it comes back, yes, I'll take some. But if it keeps on going like that, I'll just take buying opportunities. But like I always say, what we have to do now, if we want to take selling opportunities, wait for it to sell. Then we follow what the market tells us. We're not, we're not going to control the market. And I said, let me, let me actually fix this resistance. Let me fix this resistant, understand? So we can have like a beautiful one. You have to reduce it as always in normal. It has to be somewhere here. I want it here, but can I reduce it at the top side of it? 
yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's okay like this. But I want the zone here strictly there, you understand? So you can understand if it's breaking or not breaking. You see, now it's kind of like uh, breaking this thing. But London session having it open, like I told you, buying opportunities, let's wait for it to break here. Uh, selling opportunities, we wait and see how long will it take. If it creates a bigger candlestick, like let's say selling opportunities, then you're jumping with your selling opportunity. But if it decides to break here, we push into the top because we are on a long term trade here. No matter what, buying opportunities will always be there. You get the part here, we are playing around a bigger thing here. There's a zone, there's a trend line here. So we got to be uh, careful at a certain point. So that's your Euro USD update. Let's jump in into US 30 and NAS 100. Uh, okay, there's our US 30 here. Okay. Oh, look, this buy, you're so beautiful. You know, I didn't realize that we had a head and shoulder here. You see, this was a beautiful one. Beautiful head and shoulder. Ah, gone. Neckline, diagonal neckline. And it always does a bigger movement if it has a diagonal neckline. Ah. You see how beautiful this is, but you're going to see that once it pass. you always be like that. Now that's that's how the market is, guys. Don't be surprised. The market you tend to see things when they already have it, and 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 if you can check this weekly time frame, it's so big, never seen it before here. And you see, as much as it creates a bigger this, it shows that it's still gonna be like taking buying opportunities. You understand? But we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Uh, I told myself that I'm going to enter what I analyze, not what actually. Uh, I'm not going to trade the momentum of the market. You know, the momentum is the one that killed us two weeks back here. You understand? We will be jumping on sales. Well, the market changed the momentum. So you just change in the middle of the way. You see, this one's respected it in 2022, Feb, March there. It respected it in 2023, October. So that's how you use zone. It's very important for you to use them like that. I don't know if you want to use this one. Yeah, let's use the current one as this one here. And then probably we see, yeah, we want to respect it in 2021. Hey, it's crazy. And you know, as much as you're at the zone, that's a setup. You, you get the point. So we're going to re respect what we analyze. That's what I see. So today, until guys in this market, when I analyze, I don't want to think of the market. I want to follow what the market tells me. You know, if the market says this is this, you know, pride aside, pride aside. Sometimes start acting like we control this thing. We're not controlling the market. We're not at all, you know. So here, I don't know if I should take it like this. Yeah, like that. It's it's incredible. Oh, this buy was so incredible. You ah guys, this is a bigger sell. This is a bigger sell. I don't know if you guys seen this, but as much as we are here, like I told you, if you are at the resistance, we enter sell. This is a bigger sell. Like here, we're going to drop here. We're going back here. This one's created this bigger movement, created this one, uh, created this one. Uh, here, guys, if we break here, yeah, but for now, we haven't broken, right? Let's enter sales. Yeah, we haven't broken. Like, like I told you, we're going to be following the concept of the market. So that's what the concept tells me. So I want to see something based on major key. Okay, based on major key, it says, okay, you got to push a little bit. Reject here, but that, that's a daily time frame. And like, yeah, okay. we, we're not playing those games. Okay, so now we're going to push to H4 time frame and see what is it that we see. Here we see a proper trend line here. This trend line, guys, this trend line is very important. Trust me. Every trend line is important in the market, especially trend lines give me direction and and and, and like the confirmation of the market. I get them from trend, trend lines, you know. So it's very important for you to have like a certain trend line that will actually give you advices of the market. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to do this. Yeah, you understand? So, and then, okay, this, this trend line, we finished it, right? This one, we're done with it. Now we created a new one. This one, we're done with it. It's a 90% rule finished out. Easy market. 90% rule respected. But here, the problem is we are starting it from the, from the root. You know, starting the market from the root is kind of like one of the difficult things ever because you don't know if it will decide to start immediately or it will decide to start late. You know, that's one thing that we don't know. But at the end of the day, 
let's let's hope for the best guys hope is what we need to have understand so here this could be a first check profit here second i don't believe it will just go further more that than that but here you know let's, let's actually go to 60 minutes time frame then put things in the right way here so we're not gonna force this sell, right? We're gonna take it, try it, and then if we miss it, then we leave it. Please, guys, it's very important. You see, the buys are kind of like too weak here. These are buys, check the sell, but check the buys, the buys are weak. So it means like, in most cases we like saying it's tired. They're gonna put it here. Use a broker that will allow your stop loss to be here. The next thing you blow, well, you didn't arrive there. That's not, that's not right. Then we're gonna put our first check profit here, strictly here on the trend line, and then see what is it that we have. So you're going to to put your zones like this here. We still have a valid entry here due to that. This was just our order block there, and then we're gonna push further more to the bottom side. Thirty minutes. Let's see what is it that we have. Okay, see, I told you the buys are weak. Okay, this trend line as well is very important. If you break this trend line, we know very well that we're gonna push further more to the bottom side. Ah, you are you are we are going to kill you today. Like what time it is? Okay, still half past six, guys. Still half past six. Let's just relax. So yeah, guys, selling opportunities on our way. Immediately there, once you get the video, jump in. Ah, uh, no, Sandra. Okay, no, Sandra, we're gonna be fast on you. Uh, weekly time frame. Okay, uh, we're going to create places where the market touches the market reverses. This is the first place here. And then the second place has to be here, but yeah, I can see the second one is being there. And then this, we get the point. And then this again, it's just gonna create places where when the market touches the market reverses. Yeah, you see, where the market reverses, there's a zone, man. This was been respected in 2021. It was obvious that you're gonna reverse that. Like, guys, market kind of like is, but we are ignoring the market very well. And I said, so here, just gonna create a trend line, and then create a trend line again there. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. let's go to the daily chart and see what is it that we see. Okay, here, one thing that you gotta create, you gotta create this trend line to be fair. Don't force it to touch. First touch, second touch, third touch. If you have a third touch and a second touch, the probability of breaking here is high. Don't get it twisted if you wanted to sell forever, could have sold forever. So I know we saw a sell on, on, on US 30, but 15 30 like doing the opposite of two sides, you understand? So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the direction here. There's a zone as well. This one I'm gonna give you the ray because it's just like here. You understand? So that's what we have a zone. Yeah, blah blah blah. Let's go to uh H4 and see what is it that we see here. The trend line of the side at the top obviously broken at the top side, but there's the strategy that I once learned in Nasdaq. You see, Nasdaq likes creating something like this. The next thing, it will move straight to this point. And I told you I'm going to catch it today. We know where you're going. So we're going to put your stop loss here. And then we're going straight here. You get the point. So our take profit will be strictly here straight. That's what it's going to do. I'm not playing games now. 60 minutes time frame. You see, 60 minutes time frame now is starting to decide otherwise because the buys are weak. The buys are weak and selling opportunities are probably here. The buys are kind of like weak, guys, and you see they've been breaking their highs and then if it decide to break the highs, yeah, but now we want to sell. And then let's create something again. I want to create this again. This can be the same strategy that is there, showing us that you got to come back straight here. And the only thing that we want is you to break this uh, block here. If it breaks this block, we know the road that we're gonna be pushing strictly to the bottom side. So, guys, at the end of the day, guys, this is the end of the video, guys. I hope and believe you enjoy this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video, guys. Like I told you, I'm gonna be showing you the link to go to Luna, where you're gonna learn about dropshipping for free. And the other thing is, guys, I hope and believe you making money. Like I always say, making money makes sense. Signing out.